in my hunt for the perfect productivity mouse, I finally found the HyperX Pulsefire Dart. With so many features packed underneath the hood for this little guy right here, it has easily become my go-to for video and photo editing. In this review, we'll do an unboxing and I'll talk about what I liked and what I disliked on this little guy right here. Let's get it. All right, so here's an unboxing of the Pulsefire Dart Wireless from HyperX. Uh, so this is a wireless Qi charging mouse from them. Let's uh, crack this bad boy open and see exactly what it has. This is Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz, as you can see right there on the box. Of course, it has RGB, so you know, that's cool. And then, of course, uh, as it says right here, 50 hours of gaming life. So we'll, we'll test that out, kind of see exactly how we feel about it. Uh, let's see right here. Let's go around to the back. See the different lighting modes and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy on the RGB, so it just has it on the scroll wheel and on the body right there. But I think it looks nice and clean, and I love that Ergo design to it. As you guys know, I'm a pretty big Ergo mouse kind of guy. So let's uh let's get this bad boy cut open here, and we'll take a look at it. Let da, 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 if my knife will work with me here. Let's get this. There we go. All right, get that cut open right there. And let's get this bad boy popped open. In the box. Oh, yeah. Okay. Set that right here for now. Boop. Let's do that. So, here in the box, we got the actual mouse itself enclosed in a plastic container. Oh. Get the slit out of here. USB dongle. We'll see if this is a improvement from the, the one that came with the... Uh, the Cooler Master mouse here, and it looks like it is. We can get the camera to focus here on that. Oh, yeah. So we got the HyperX branding right there. Actual legit looking dongle. So that's already a big improvement. And then the mouse itself is a clean looking mouse. I actually really like that. Feels good in the hand. Uh, it, so it's supposed to weigh, I think, like just over 100 grams or so. Uh, and uh, it feels good. feels good. So we just got one switch on the bottom to uh, to switch it uh, on and off. So I guess it automatically switch between wireless, wireless, wired or wireless and everything like that. So we got the plastic. Let's do a plastic pill here. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! And, of course, that Qi charging. So we'll test that out later to see exactly how well that works. Hopefully it works well with this guy. So we got some good thick feet right here. I don't know if these are PTFE or not. But uh, they feel good. I will give them that. Uh, I don't know how you... This can switch to Bluetooth, I believe. I don't know how exactly you switch it to Bluetooth. But uh, we can figure that out later. And yeah. And uh, the sensor on the bottom right there. Okay. So there's the mouse itself. Really love that. That looks very good. Let's take a look at what, what else we got in the box here. We got uh, this booklet that lets me know that they have me covered. So I uh, highly appreciate that. Uh, now, I am a pretty big fan of HyperX products, I will say. And here's a guide to show you how to set it on the charger. Uh, and, of course, they're advertising their own wireless charger right there. Good old HyperX products. And let's see what else we have in this box. We got one more compartment right here. Let's get the, Oh, knocked my camera a bit. Sorry about that, guys. A little shaky video. And the, uh, the actual charging cable. Oh, first off, let's see... Oh, yeah, look at that. Wireless, so, USB-C charging. So, this cable right here, I'm assuming this is a, yeah, so this is a little adapter. So, you can make it, uh, you can put your USB dongle in right there and make it a little bit longer for yourself. Yeah, I guess get a better reach and set it across your desk, but also you can disconnect. And that's your USB-C cable. Pretty good feeling. Uh, it's not braided. It's not paracord or anything like that. It's a pretty thick, pretty heavy cable. But, of course, this mouse is not meant to be lightweight. And this mouse is to be used wireless, not wired. So I guess that's probably why they concluded this one instead. So pretty cool. So all in all, looks like a good mouse right there. Put it all together and let's get a little focus adjustment right here. Ba -ba -da. So good looking mouse. All in all, I'm excited about it. Let's, uh, let's crack this bad boy open. And uh, yeah, we'll get it hooked up and we'll test her out and see how I feel about this guy. All right, so let's hop right into the things that I love about this mouse. And there are, uh, there are a lot of things for me to go over right here. So first, what I loved about this thing is the ergos. The, the, the way this thing fills in my hand, and along with the ergos, they added padding on the sides, which really kind of adds to the comfort and the overall good feeling of this mouse. You know, especially like I said, if, you're, if you've been holding on to this for like two or three hours through a video editing, 
it really makes a big difference in in the comfort of this little guy and uh, and they knocked it out of the park with this it supports chi charging and, and uh i seriously had zero issues with this every time i set it on my charging pad it automatically just starts charging up zero issues at all and of course you know if you didn't want to use the chi charging it does offer usb-c charging instead and comes with the usb-c cable uh but like i said you know i i have a just a cheap ten dollar charging pad here on my desk and every time I need to charge this up, I basically after every use, I just set it on that charging pad, set it and forget it, come back the next day, it's fully charged, ready to go again. To go along with that, the battery life on this thing is absolutely insane. Like I, I can, I usually go for about three to four weeks of, of use with this thing. Uh, and that's usually at least like four or five times a, a week using this little guy. And I, I never see the battery, you know, get super low. I like usually after about four weeks, it'll get down to about 20% and then I'll throw it back on the charger. Uh, but now that the reviews are with, I, I, I just genuinely just throw it on the charger every time after I use it. I throw it on my wireless charging pad. So for battery life, I have zero issues with this little guy, and which is a, a huge relief because that's something you really need when it comes to a, like a, a productivity mouse. You need it to have really good battery life because you don't want to have to worry about where the battery meter is at at all times. The wireless connection with this guy, like I've already touched on, is really, really good. Uh, you know, the, the dongle actually has extremely good reach. I have it uh, about three feet away from my mouse and I have zero dropout even further away from that when I, when I have about four or five feet I still don't get any dropout but then of course you know along with that USB-C cable it does come with an adapter to where you can set it closer on your desk in case if you needed to uh, but in my experience I didn't have to do that the, the, it, the receiver is extremely good Another huge note I have to touch on this thing is the RGB. The RGB on this is really, really good. And, uh, and basically what I mean by that, it's, it's extremely simple. It literally just has RGB around the scroll wheel and then on the hump of the back for the HyperX logo. That's the only two spots. And quite honestly, in my opinion, that's the only two spots that needed it. I keep it a solid color. I keep it a white when I'm using it on this factory preset. And then I set it to red so I know when I'm in editing mode because I remapped all the keys on, on this mouse for myself. And, uh, and, and the RGB is just more than enough for me. I, I don't need an explosion of color. I don't need RGB strips everywhere. Just those two spots was more than enough. And, I, and I'm actually really appreciative of them just adding it right there. And of course, the software on here. I normally, I don't like software and the, the software isn't required to use this mouse. But, and normally I wouldn't download software, but you know, I had to test it out, so I had to test out the HyperX Ingenuity software. And uh, you know, the only downside to that software is that it is a Microsoft exclusive software. But with that being said, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and the, the software that comes with this mouse is actually extremely good. And uh, it's very intuitive. Uh, it was easy, very easy to set a new preset for this thing for editing. Uh, and you know to go in there adjust every setting that I needed to adjust on it It was an absolute breeze I had zero issues with that and, I, and I'm really appreciative of just very clean simple software Now let's get to the fun part what I hated I really only have three things to touch on right here First is the scroll wheel uh, the scroll wheel on this thing uh, Granted I'm not using it for gaming, but the scroll on this thing it's it's pretty loose It doesn't have that real clicky tactile feel that I, that I prefer when I'm using a mouse uh, and especially when I'm using a mouse for an extended period of time. So that's the only downside I, rules, I really will say about this is the scroll wheel kind of feels mushy and it doesn't, it, it doesn't, auto, it doesn't accidentally move. But it, it just, I wish it would have been a little more rigid. I wish it would have had a little more of a tactile hump to it on each notch right there. Uh, so I do have to give them a mark for that. The feet on this thing are Teflon, uh, and you know, and it's not the end of the world. But with the mouse this heavy, if they would have used PTFE feet. It would have made a much bigger difference and um, a lot smoother of a glide. So it is Teflon. Uh, so you're gonna, especially if you're, if you're used to using a mouse that has PTFE, if you switch to this mouse right here, you're gonna feel the drag. You're gonna feel some resistance right there. Uh, like I said, for me, just using it for productivity, it's not the end of the world, but that is something to know. And then the last grab I have on this thing is the DPI button placement. I'm glad it does have a DPI button on the top, but the placement's kind of awkward. They put it really far back. And uh, especially in the, like, I, I mean, when I tested this thing out, just trying it for gaming, that gets a little awkward. And even when I have it just set for all my presets for editing, you know, it, it, it is a bit of an awkward placement to push because they put it so far back up the mouse. I don't really know why. Uh, they, I, you know, in a future iteration, hopefully they would adjust that down a little bit further to where it, it's just not quite as awkward. So for a side note, uh, the switches on this thing feel great. Uh, I have zero issues with the switches. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, I, once again, I didn't buy this for gaming, but the switches do feel good. Uh, they don't feel mushy. They don't feel squishy, even on the scroll wheel, even though it doesn't have the tactile humps. 
you know, the, the click of the scroll wheel still feels good. So guys, let's real quick do a sound test so you can hear how these switches sound. So to finish this review off, guys, uh, the biggest thing to talk about on this little guy right here is it is kind of marketed uh, for the idea of gaming. And in my opinion, I would not use this for gaming. Even if you're playing like something more casual like an MMO or something like that, I still wouldn't recommend this for gaming. It, it, it is pretty heavy. And all the weight, since it is a wireless charging mount, all the weight's in the back of it. And so every time you try to pick this little guy up, it's going to drag down on the back side of your hand. It's just, it's, it doesn't feel good. It's not a comfortable mouse to use long term. And especially for me with the grip that I use for when I'm gaming, it does not accommodate my grip at all. However, like I've said 20 times in this review already, I didn't buy this thing for gaming. I bought it for productivity. And what it gives me and what it does for me for productivity, I, I legit love. Like I haven't taken this thing off my desk since I bought it. And I've had this thing for about three months now, just testing it out and working with it. And for productivity, this thing really does slap extremely hard. Like, I love this mouse. So if you're like me, if you're considering getting this mouse for productivity or just general work task and not for the idea of gaming, then I 10,000% recommend this mouse. And the biggest thing too is their software and how easy it is to remap all the buttons. So I have my buttons remapped to undo, to cut, delete, and then I'll probably work with that later on too to kind of add some more function in that as well. But uh, you know, for that right there, the easy peasy remapping of the buttons, the way it feels, how easy it is to recharge, you know, it's just a nice comfy mouse. That you don't have to worry about lifting up off the mouse pad over and over. It is a perfect, perfect productivity mouse and especially coming in at $99. So coming in at $99, this thing is gonna mostly compete with the Logitech MX Master 3 and the Cooler Master MM831. You know, those are kind of its two closest competitions right there. On the Logitech side of things, I, it probably all like altogether has better features. However, it doesn't offer wireless charging. The Cooler Master MMA31 does offer wireless charging, but as you can see in my review right here, I don't recommend that thing at all. So for $99, and this thing goes on sale quite frequently anyways, usually for about 20 bucks off. So if you can find it on sale or even at just at full price for $99, guys, I really think it's a great product. And HyperX has a long, great history of making good quality, long lasting product. So I definitely can stand behind this one 10,000%. And, and I promise you this, I'm not sponsored. I bought this out of my own pocket. So anyways, guys, that's my review of the HyperX Postfire Dart wireless gaming mouse. Uh, and uh, like I said, you know, I love this thing uh, for productivity tasks. It is just so good, guys. So if this is something you're considering getting, let me know down in the comments below, guys. Is this a mouse you're interested in? Or what kind of mouse are you using for your daily productivity task? Or, uh, you know, if you have any type of productivity that you're doing. But anyways, guys, if you like this review, please drop a like and a comment down below. Guys, I would love to hear from you. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video right here. I thank you guys so much for showing the love, showing the support on the channel like you have been. We're growing swiftly. Make sure you follow me over on Twitter and join the Discord. Links for those are all down in the description below. But until next time, I love each and every one of you guys. Stay swole. Peace.